Hello everyone, this is Ritu and I welcome you to Quant Masters Trading Services Analysis of the Verbal Ability section of TCS NQT, the 8 a.m. slot exam on 24th of October, that is today. The section, as expected, had questions from reading comprehension, sentence arrangement, vocabulary, and simple questions on sentence correction as well. Tricky questions, options a little close enough, but nothing that a student of Quant Masters could not answer. So let's have a look at the right technique, the right approach, the right way in all of these, in, in which these 24 questions could have been answered within 30 minutes with 100% accuracy. So this is going to be a great learning experience for the prospective test takers. Come on, let's have a look at it. So the first question is on reading comprehension, one area which students dread a lot. But guys, there was nothing to dread. The passage was a short passage. But yes, since we have to manage time effectively, it is advisable to skim and scan. The technique that students should have adopted while answering this passage is skimming and scanning. Why? There was one question which was a general question and the other questions, even if you look at the second passage, were more of direct questions. The passage is visible in front of us. Just let's get an idea or a sense of what the passage is about without reading every single detail. Skimming and scanning, that's the technique with which we can minimize the time and maximize our accuracy. So let's have a look at it. It used to be the American shopper that exemplified the state of the world economy. The focus now should be on the person on the other side of the till. America's retail industry is huge. It employs 15.9 million workers. It is undergoing wrenching change. So you know it's negative. The impact is already visible. What impact? Technology's impact on work. See how I'm highlighting the keywords? Okay, uh, then just have mainly focus on the conclusion, guys, the, con the big opening line and the conclusion of each paragraph. Department stores may need to close more than 800 stores, so you know that they are not doing well. Some formats may continue to thrive, but mainly who is going to be hit majorly by this? Many will shrink. So the impact is a far reaching impact and the major victims of this impact are department stores who may need to close down 100 stores. And they are looking for a way to cut labor costs. So a lot of labor will be let go. A lot of department stores will be closed down. Why? Because of automation. So we've got a sense that it's mainly because of automation that the department stores, the retail industry in America is going to be hit. Some may, some models may strive, but the department stores are not going to survive. So we've got a sense. Of the, now we can easily come to the questions. This passage is mainly about. It's not about those who do their regular, those who do their shopping. It's not about the shoppers. It's about the retailers. Eliminated. Remember the technique, guys. Elimination process. Never search for the right answer. Eliminate the wrong answers, and you'll be left with your right answer. This is a sure shot way in order to uh, accomplish hundred percent accuracy. Those who run large businesses and retail stores, large businesses. Those who run smaller retail shops, those who cannot afford to buy anything. Again, it's not about the buyers, it's about the sellers. So A and D can be easily eliminated. Classic dilemma that a lot of students face. Two options we are easily able to eliminate, but the remaining two is what we get stuck between. How do we decide? Look into this. This talks about larger businesses and retail stores. This talks about smaller retail shops. See this. High-end malls, hence larger businesses, will continue to thrive. The passage is not mainly about them. The passage is negative in tone. Who is going to face this negative impact? Who is going to bear the brunt of it? Department stores, which are smaller retail shops. So answer option will be C. Did all of you understand this? It's a good process of elimination. The discount stores might survive. The high-end malls may survive. But it is the last year, 4,000 American stores closed. This year, more than twice the number may shutter. You're talking about these American retail stores, outlets, 800 stores, department stores are regular shops which may close down and which are going to bear the brunt of this. So that's why the answer option is C. It's not businesses, it's just retail shops. Clear? Simple process of elimination. Come on. Same passage, second question. What is a significant measure that stores are trying to adopt? What is it that they are trying to adopt? Why is it that this change is going to happen? Many outlets are looking for ways to cut labor costs by embracing automation. Now, how do you know which part of the paragraph you're going to look into? There is a problem. How are you? What are you going to adopt? What measure are you going to adopt to solve the problem? Solution. 
So solution, where do we find the solution? In the last line of the passage. So focus on the last lines, guys. Again, I'm repeating it. The key is the conclusion. So by embracing automation, direct answer. Come on. See how we are efficiently managing time. Third question, a simple fill in the blank question. Let's have a look at it. Very important to focus on the context. Very important to focus on positive, negative and neutral. Governments have been promising the eradication of child labor in high rise industry, high risk industries, high risk industries. One classic mistake that students make and have made is that they directly jump to the two blanks and try to fill them up. While this might work 10% of the times, 90% of the time it's going to give you wrong answers. The context is very important. So we have to focus on reading the previous lines and the succeeding lines around the blank. Even if we rush through it, that's okay. So it's talking about high risk industries. 100 million children are still at work instead of going to school. 10 million are working in dash industry. Honorary, hazardous, handicraft, hardware. Now you know you're talking about risk. See how important the context became. You're talking about risk. Which option in blank one goes with risk? Hazardous. Directly. So guys, that's what I'm telling you. Do not rush. Rush, yes, in terms of managing the time efficiently, but do not skip questions, do not skip essential lines, do not try to play with it in this sort. So read the question carefully, understand the question carefully, and then the questions will be answered within the time limit and 100% accuracy. Context in closed text is very important. Okay, plus the dash number of children who are forced to earn a living. India has the biggest child population. See, if I would have just focused on the second blank, I would not have caught the word biggest. Biggest child population. So we also have the largest number of children who are forced to earn a living. So answer option becomes B and A. Second option. When you're talking about number, also look at the collocation. Number cannot be latest. Okay, you would say latest numbers. But since you're talking about biggest, cannot be loudest cannot be lowest because that will be contradicting the intent of the passage. So answer option becomes largest. Great going. Three questions in our bag. Come on. For the four sentences, uh, for the four sentence paragraph, which is given below, sentence one and sentence four are given. From the options P, Q and R, select sentence two and three. Two sentences are missing. We have to look into P, Q and R and select which of these would fill the place of the missing sentence. So come on, let's understand the context. So what we know is the introduction is given and the conclusion is given. What is missing is the body. Come on. Once upon a time, an ambassador came to see the king of Sparta on some official business. Okay, once upon a time seems like a narrative passage, seems like a story. Categorization becomes very important here. He found nothing of that kind. What kind? What was he looking for? Come on. The ambassador knew that the king of Sparta was also really the ruler of entire Greece. So he expected to see massive walls around the city for purpose of defense. Okay, this could be something that he was looking for. Massive walls around the city. You're looking at the walls. 10,000 men and every man is a brick. What you should be looking at is 10,000 men and every man is a brick. After their work was over, the king took his visitor on a sightseeing tour of the capital city. Now, which one continues the story? Why did he want to look for walls around the city? Because he was taken on a sightseeing tour of the capital city. And while going sightseeing, he wanted to see, he expected to see massive walls, but he did not see anything of that kind. Also, keeping in tone with the narrative passage, he came to see. Then what happened after their work? Continuation of a story. So your answer option will be R and P. P of that kind, what kind? He wanted to see walls around the city. So here would fit in P. What did he want to see? But he found nothing of that sort. And continuation of the story. Why did he expect to see walls around the city? Why did he why did he go to the city? Because he was taken on a sightseeing tour of the city. So R and then P. Your answer option clearly becomes A here. Come on, next one. Passage again. Okay, let's see this, guys. A little longer than the previous passage. But again, if you would see that, this is also very statistical in tone. Hence, borrowing from what we have learned in our sessions, newspaper. Newspaper reading is very crucial. Even if it's short articles, day-to-day -day life articles, 
simple economic articles simple daily articles very important to read guys not only for your vocabulary but also to improve your speed also to understand the kind of passages that you get helps you in various areas so newspaper reading please make a note of it read every day even if it's for 15 minutes even if it's uh, on your phones even if it's on an app even if it's you know physical newspaper online newspaper whatever suits you so come on let's have a look at this let's see the questions first which of the following is not a scar of the pandemic which business will not continue to prosper now if you have a look at it again what strategy we have to follow is skim and scan we do not have time to read every single word in detail what is important is skimming and scanning twinkling lights are just visible behind scenes where staff are putting the finishing touches of this year's christmas displays but in other parts of the shop the lights are still off why are they off because they are bearing the scars of the pandemic scars negative a certain section is lit but the certain section where the lights are off these these areas where the lights are off they show the scars of the pandemic restaurant is closed more staff than customers fashion floor is a depressing sight john lewis had applied for planning permission to convert the entire floor into office space that means his shop is not doing well his store is not doing well the john lewis stores are not doing well it's not hard to see why john lewis with its employee ownership and reputation for stellar customer service still holds a special place in shoppers hearts but while sister chain waitrose come on quickly 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 thrived in the pandemic the department store chain is in deep trouble so who's in deep trouble john lewis department store you changes in shopping behavior corona virus the pandemic website is now responsible for 60% of the sales earlier it was 30% now it's 60% people are moving towards online shopping change in the shoppers behavior analyze while you read active reading is what we are looking at okay now you can see this a reassessment in the week sent has sent the group crashing into the red they are facing a lot of losses okay so we've got a sense it's about john lewis department stores not doing well change in shopping behavior shift to online uh buying and uh, okay they are planning to convert the entire flow into shopping space got a sense of it come on let's go to the questions and let's answer the questions without regression because we have analyzed it we have done active reading which is not a scar so remember guys scar is something which is going to be negative more flow is converted into office space putting finishing touches to festive decoration now this is not a scar this is positive if you're decorating your place festive decorations cannot be a scar flows being converted into office space lights off fewer customers these are all negative signs these are all signs that a business is not doing well they these are scars which is not a scar your answer option will be b simple logic positive negative which business will not continue to prosper john lewis what store department store done because we had reflected after reading the passage what unpleasant announcement will the chairman have to make to the employees he has requested the planning commission uh, for planning permission to convert the office, the the floors into office space so what would and most of its sales have gone online it's on the website so they will have to cut pay they will not get their annual bonus they will not get their salaries that they will lose their jobs more staff than customers understand the points this is an application question application question there are more staff than customers your business has gone online lights are off you're converting your stores into office space you just will not have space for people anymore it's not just a salary cut it's not just a bonus cut it's not just a pay cut they will lose their jobs because they're clearly more staff than what you require answer option becomes the application very crucial presence of mind how do we know that john lewis had been in prosperous business prior to the covid pandemic prior focus on the question guys an option which may be true but still not relevant to the question will not be our answer prior to the covid pandemic their website now handles this is not prior prior means previous this is current situation so a is eliminated they paid an annual bonus for 67 years they have a new lady chairman new again prior and lady chair does not make a difference they were known for their customer services okay so they were known for their customer services now we are looking for an option 
which says prosperous business, prosperous business. They were doing really well before the COVID pandemic. They paid an annual bonus for 67 years. They were known for their customer services. Now, prosperous business basically means you're experiencing a profit in terms of revenue, in terms of profit. Profit reflects not only in terms of customer services, profit, a major indicator, application question, the most important indicator of profit is going to be the fact that you've paid bonus. Bonus shows that you've been profitable, which shows that you've had a prosperous business. So answer option is B, application question. Both of these statements were not mentioned in the passage, but we have inferred it from the passage. We have applied it. So very crucial. Students who would not have done this would go on and on and on around the passage searching for where, where is this option mentioned? But no, apply. That's why we did critical reasoning exercises in our preparation. Which one of the following expressions means losing money? Tilt towards, on rack, send crashing, in the red. If you've looked at the share market, guys, when the share prices are going good, it's in green. Green. Money. Green. Losing money. Look at the last line. Into the red. Into the red. Red. That means it's a clear indicator of a loss. So answer option will be D. Clear, guys? I hope this is all clear for everyone. Come on. Look at the speed. Look at the accuracy with which we are answering the questions. Come on. Let's move ahead. Aisha had been, okay, fill in the blanks question, but instead of word substitution, these are sentence substitution. Come on, let's read them correctly. Uh, context is very important. Even if you're skimming and scanning, it's okay. Aisha had been very successful managing her team in Edinburgh uh, to lead a remote team for an important two-year remote, not closely located, so probably online. Keen to demonstrate, uh, her, Aisha got her team members together for a remote meeting, probably an online meeting. Right from the first meeting, she realized that this was going to be a different challenge. So if it's going to be a challenge, we need a sentence which is going to be negative here. Lucia kept asking about really specific details. Aisha was hoping to use the meeting to get to know the team members. Archie and Lucia kept accidentally talking all the time. Uncomfortable silence. Valentina hardly said a word. Dash. Without these visual cues, clues. Visual. So you need something to do with visual here and you need a negative sentence here. Why it was the meeting was a challenge. Come on. No one had their cameras on. So there was none of the usual communication through body language or facial expressions. Compared to face to face meeting, the remote team is not preferred by all the managers. All the managers. Are we talking about all the managers? No, we are talking about Aisha's experience. We are going to eliminate this. For a start, start before you, so where would C come in? C would come in here because you're starting with your problems. Archie was late for the meeting by 15 minutes. Lucia kept asking about specific details. Archie and Lucia kept accidentally talking at the same time. Valid, so this is where she, the author introduces the start to the problems that Aisha faced during the meeting. So we're going to put C here. Now, even if you're not going to look at the second blank, that's why the options are here for d one is c so if one is c two has to be a clear guys yes or no don't think don't give it a second thought you're right all managers no it's about aisha's experience so that's why b can be eliminated c gives you the start to the problem so c is going to come in the first blank going by the options your answer option will be d clear everyone come on let's continue fill in the blanks what did the painter do dash himself from falling from falling to save to save for saving to save do to save to save correct so we can go with a we can go with b and we can go with d when he felt the ladder dash he grabbed the gutter to save himself from falling when he felt felt means you experienced when something is happening when something is occurring that's when you feel it that's when you experience it so when he felt the ladder beginning to slip, begin to slip, began to slip, began slipping. Which one? Come on. Now this is going to be a challenge. Now look into it, guys. When he felt the ladder dash, he grabbed the gutter to save himself from falling. When he felt, when you experience something which is happening, so it has to be beginning to slip. When the when he fell, the ladder began slipping. 
why not began now your question will be ma'am why not began because felt is past tense so when he felt the ladder began slipping he grabbed the gutter to save himself from falling now understand this guys when he felt when he felt the ladder the ladder didn't began slipping it was beginning to slip what, what is happening the it's just starting to slip that starting word or that beginning word is what is crucial began becomes past tense how began slipping the ing should not come on slipping the ing should come the owner should come on beginning so that's why your answer option becomes a come on next one Every, find the sentence it may contain an error identify the part which has the error if there is no error choose no error everyday life have become are very easy here it is we discussed all the distributive pronouns be it every each everyone everybody someone somebody anyone anybody all of these are singular so when you say everyday life you will not say have become you will say has become every child is special everybody deserves a chance at happiness everyday life has become so your answer option is b no need to need the rest demonstrate the distributive pronouns have saved us here come on next one again two sentences are given you have to choose the inserts in between come on gandhi does not reject machinery as such what he objects to is the craze for machinery so he is not against machinery he is against the obsession or the craze for machinery okay he says that today machinery merely helps a few to ride on the backs of million okay and adds that the spinning wheel is a machinery a little toothpick is a machine he observes how can i be against machinery he does not reject machinery how can i be against machinery r continues with the same idea look at the idea he is not against machinery as such he says how can i be against machinery when i know that even this body is a most delicate piece of machinery the body is a machine getting my point what else is a machine the spinning wheel is a machine a little toothpick is a machine so this explains the point that he is not against machinery the body is a machinery spinning wheel is a machinery toothpick is a machinery i'm not against machinery what he objects to is the craze for machinery he is objecting to the craze for machinery not this few to ride on the backs of millions not this plus guys always work with the options you know that r has to be a part of the passage correct and it needs to come here he does not reject machinery i can't i'm not against machinery the only option which starts with r is b so your answer option is b it's a very very important combination of presence of mind careful elimination linking of key ideas looking at the options and answering come on let's go to the 14th question the following three sentences can be revised into one better sentence conjunctions would play a crucial role here i was at the fair i got lost i got scared as a result of it okay i am scared after i am lost at the fair i'm scared i'm lost did this happen in the present tense no i was at the fair the original sentence is in the past tense a eliminated i went to the fair and got scared as i was lost i went to the fair and got scared as i was lost okay let's keep it on hold but not very convinced with it i am lost again i am will not come because that's present tense i got lost at the fair and was scared let's understand this i got lost now see let's compare options b and d carefully i went to the fair good and got scared as i was lost lost where at the fair i got lost at the fair at the fair what happened at the fair i got lost at the fair and hence as a final result of this was scared so which one flows most logically and most grammatically correct answer option d a little clarity of thought plus it's all about comparison and elimination comparison and elimination 
which of the following sentences does not use informal language what is informal language informal language is conversational language conversational language chitter chatter banter uh, talk chat friends colleagues informal formal language on the other hand written communication more a formal language letters mails circulars orders formal language did you locate our office facility quite easily it seems like a conversation you will be working with different managers during your training it seems like a conversation we shall endeavor to inform you of the position in two weeks time endeavor not not a, not a normal word that we would use in our conversation day to day life is there anything else you want to ask me conversation answer option is c don't just focus on the heavy word guys focus on the usual language conversational language daily language colloquial language and official language so official language becomes formal language endeavor inform you of the position two weeks time so this is more of giving a deadline endeavor basically your keyword had to be endeavor here not a usual word no you and you would generally say you know we shall try to inform you or we shall inform you but endeavor seems like a formal word so answer option becomes c come on interesting isn't it the verbal ability section was a sure short way to achieve a seat come on the lady dash purse was lost lodged a complaint at the police station the lady whose purse belonging ownership possession whenever whose car is this whose bike is this whose house is this whose lawn is this who's you're questioning who's the owner on the other hand who and whom relate to the subject and the object who called whom who subject performer of the action whom object receiver of the action where place not lady for lady you cannot use where so answer option would be whose questioning the ownership questioning the possession questioning the belonging come on you're going to read a text about a man in a photograph some sentences are missing from the text okay it's a closed text passage in terms of sentences come on it was a first first photograph that i'd ever seen it's fascinated me positive i still remember holding it at every angle in order to catch the flickering light from the oil lamp on the dresser the author was trying to observe it really carefully blank I had never met him. Okay, so there's a person, but I felt I knew him. The author felt connected. Understand the emotion. I moved the photograph so that the shadow lay perfectly around his hollow cheeks. How different he looked! The man in the photograph was unsmiling. The man, the he could be man, but his eyes were kind. Eyes were kind. Could be a reason why the author felt connected with him. i would tell him how but who is this him so this definitely cannot come in the first blank so option b goes out first blank cannot be b who is this him one evening while i was looking at the photograph as i always as i always did before i went to sleep i noticed a shadow now where should the shadow fit in probably here move the photograph so that the shadow lay perfectly which shadow but here also there's a shadow so b and c would be a contender for the second place that means a is the best option for the first place so your answer option is directly a simple clear straight forward clean logic shadow and shadow these would be contenders for the second blank because that second blank the succeeding sentence talks about the shadow so they cannot come for the first blank so first blank our answer option will be a and directly looking at the options without even worrying about the second blank hence saving very crucial time we have answered our answer we have given our answer option as a come on 18th one henry looks carefully into the telescope uh, which uh, let him see far far away uh, let him see far far away as far away as the distant nebulae nebulae is something which is unclear vague on the fair edges of the milky way Henry is an an astrologer, astrologist, astronomer, astronaut. Okay, you are talking about a telescope. You are talking about a telescope. Now, astrologer, astrologist, 
astronomer he is looking at the stars he is looking at the sky if you're looking at the stars if you're looking at the sky what does that make you come on even though he spends much of his time looking at detailed computer reports which are just lists and lists of uh, numbers his dash thing about his job is looking through the telescope today he is very excited he isn't sure yet but he thinks he has seen a dense cloud which might be the beginning of a new star he has looked at a dash cloud what cloud okay uh, his <coughs> let's come to the second blank just lists and lists of numbers his dash thing about his <coughs> job is looking through the telescope something that he likes right you cannot say his favoring thing so option a goes out c is eliminated his pleasant thing you don't say this is my pleasant thing pleasant weather yes pleasant climate yes pleasant experience yes pleasant thing no so option b goes out his ple uh, his pleasing thing about his job his pleasing thing it's not his pleasing thing but it could be his favorite thing so it has to be d hence your answer option will become a who said you can only play with the first blank you can also play with the second blank and if you're looking at the stars what does that make you astronomer you're looking at the stars from planet earth you're not an astronaut you're an astronomer so answer option becomes a just look at the second blank his pleasing favoring thing his pleasant thing his pleasing thing his favorite thing pleasant and pleasing are more like you know something that suits you something that you like something that meaning wise they can fit in but the structure wise grammatically they don't fit in my favorite food in the world is uh is chocolate cake i will not say my pleasing thing in the world is chocolate cake correct so favorite answer option is clearly d no brainer guys for students who have used the right approach and strategy that's why the number of tests that we have taken the number of mocks that we have given the number of sectionals that we have discussed in class definitely going to come in handy come on one part of the sentence may contain an error okay if there's no error choose no error the board announced that the decision to reduce the syllabus is yet to be approved by the competent authority the board announced that the decision to reduce the syllabus is yet to be approved by the competent authority come on now i'm going to give you at least 10 seconds to think about this question guys come on everyone i've been helping you out a lot come on let's see you get this right 19th question on your screens everyone come on go ahead answer it 100% accuracy is what is expected come on taking no chances check part by part the board announced that decision to reduce the bus is decision is yet to be approved still not approved it's yet to be approved the board announced that is required decision is singular is should come still or yet to be approved no error you're right the answer option is no error come on next one phrasal verb remember as we discussed in our verbal classes how important prepositions are we uh, spend umpty you know we solved umpty number of questions on prepositions lot of time on prepositions because it is crucial come on the final report on the project was dash into three parts was dash into three parts broken up into three parts broken off into three parts broken away into three parts broken out into three parts a party of 10 broke up into smaller parties of 3 broken up into off is generally used for getting rid of so rid of take off go off ran off away away is more for apart distance break out break out like violence breaks out a zit breaks out on your face suddenly appear this is not about suddenly appearing this is about break up into pieces into chunks into parts separate detach so answer option becomes broken up 20 questions in our bag guys come on one part of the sentence below may contain an error error spotting error identification important the state government has proposed to put on place the new portal 
to put on place please put it dash the right place think please put it on the right place prepositions again please put it in the right place mark my words guys this is what i've been telling you throughout our sessions i've told you this so guys those who are quant master students would have a big grin on their faces if they would have looked at this question reason is our extensive practice on prepositions and stress on prepositions and telling you again and again that mainly focus on subject verb agreement and focus on prepositions you don't say to put on place to put in place most of the errors are either, they revolve around singular plural and prepositions answer option is b come on next one let's go to the 22nd one you're going to read a text about an artist some sentences are missing okay so we have understood guys since we have come to two or three of these questions we know the drill so let's not you know you should spend a little less time on reading the directions now since you know the drill come on Kahini first uh, held a first solo show in 1998, the entire proceeds of which went to the Helen Keller Institute for the Deaf and Blind in Mumbai. Dash, encountering the pathless terrain of inner landscape, the artist engages in, the artist, which artist? In a re restless re-examination of idea and image. Landscape, which landscape? She has also taken part in several art camps. Come on. In a fifth solo show with acrylic and oil on canvas paintings in the series, titled Metamorphosis, held recently at the Mumbai's Jahangir Art Gallery, she showed for the first time her abstract works on the wall. Her work has been acquired by corporate houses and also uh, forms part of private collections. Now, this will definitely not fit into the first blank. Correct? First blank, we need an introduction. We don't need her accomplishments. We need an introduction that, yes, she is an artist. She engages in a lot of work. First solo show. Okay, but this is talking about the first solo show. This is talking about her fifth solo show. She has participated in a group show along with 50 women artists to celebrate International Women's Day. Seems a little confusing. Yes, it's, it's trickier than the previous questions that we have seen. Uh, seems a little trickier, but not anything that we cannot achieve. So come on, guys. Let's try this out a little bit in detail. Okay, everybody focus. It says A, C, A, B. So it's a good mixture of options. Come on. She held a first solo show in 1998. The entire proceeds of which went to the Helen Keller Institute for the Deaf and Blind in Mumbai. This is talking about a first solo show. Full stop. In a fifth solo show with acrylic and oil on canvas painting in the series titled Metamorphosis, held recently at Mumbai's Jahangir Art Gallery, she showed for the first time her abstract work as well. Mm, abstract work. Okay, idea and image could go with abstract work. Her work has been acquired by corporate houses. This I'm definitely not going to consider for option A. So D goes out. She has participated in a group show along with 50 women artists. Now, if this is talking about artists, but this says only artist, one artist. Plus, idea and image. Idea and image, abstract work, something which deals with idea, something that's not easy to uh, interpret, something that is very, very intricate. So, we are going to consider A for the first blank. Now, a for the first blank. Again, C or B for the second blank. She has also taken part in several art camps. Her work has been acquired by corporate houses, also forms part of private collection. She has participated, participated. She has also taken part, also adding on to additional participation. So participated, taken part. So answer option will be A. A and C. Taken part and participated. Look at the key words, everyone. The key words become very crucial here. Here you're talking about idea and image. Hence, abstract work. Ta also taken part. Hence, participated. Answer option becomes A and C. Even if you had not got the first blank, but you had got the second blank just by looking at the word also, you would clearly see that C has to be a part of the second blank, which is there only in one option. So, your answer option becomes A. 
a little time consuming probably a question to uh, skip or attempt at the end but yes uh, not something that could be difficult if you just focus on conjunction also come on next one sentence 1 is given sentence 4 is given you have to select sentence 2 uh, and 3 okay so sentence 2 and 3 again the body is missing come on the question has often been asked why the right brothers were able to succeed in an effort in which so many others had failed both men worked together worked well together first they were a team many explanations have been mentioned but three reasons are often cited three reasons if you're saying three reasons this option sentence 4 should give us the three reasons okay so first can be they were a team they worked well together read the same books located and shared information talked incessantly about the possibility a man served as a consistent source of inspiration okay three reasons each aircraft was slightly better than the last incorporating it in the knowledge that they had gained from previous failures now let's analyze this guys which option which option they worked together they read the same books located and shared information talked incessantly you're talking about the reasons why they succeeded because they were a team they, they were a team they talked incessantly and constant source of inspiration you're talking about the reasons so what should it be q and p you mentioned many explanations three reasons were more cited first if you have to keep p you need q there are three reasons this being the first reason each aircraft which aircraft you're not talking about the quality of their aircrafts you're talking about reasons why they succeeded but others failed something inherently to do with their quality so answer option becomes q and p very good come on pairing very important so guys i hope you all enjoyed the analysis of these questions very important to understand a couple of pointers that i would like to reiterate uh, please look into this everyone really carefully there are a couple of things that i want to uh, mention and reiterate once more please focus on the following approaches when it comes to rc please focus on the technique which we have categorized as skimming and scanning focus mainly on the first lines of the paragraph and the last lines of the paragraph skimming and scanning is of essence focus on the elimination method focus on elimination method do not search for the right answers eliminate the wrong answers focus on conjunctions right pairing also focus on prepositions and singular plural especially when it broken up with preposition lot of sentence correction exercises and questions that we have looked into here focused on prepositions focus on sentence arrangement how do we do sentence arrangement by looking at the keywords looking at the keywords vocabulary a dreaded area for most of the students you will find that not a lot of heavy words have been used not a lot of tricky words were there not a lot of unheard words were there it's all about presence of mind read newspaper articles focus on elimination method give as many mocks and sectionals as possible and attend quan masters classes here's the difference here's to you cracking all the questions with 100% accuracy enroll at quan masters today and make sure that you breeze through smoothly in the upcoming exams take care everyone and see you soon